This news, Sarah, is actually from Capitol Hill. The House Judiciary Subcommittee on Antitrust has released a long-awaited uh, report on what they're calling the monopoly power of four large companies in the tech industry, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, and Google, in a 16-month report with more than 1.3 million documents at its center. Uh, the subcommittee concludes that basically all of these companies uh, enjoy this monopoly power because of practices of their own making. And they issue some recommendations, notably uh, structural separation uh, of these businesses and uh, prohibiting them from being in adjacent lines of business. This has been equated to a sort of Glass-Steagall for big tech, though we should note it's something that Republicans on this subcommittee uh, do not support. There are also recommendations to prohibit big mergers in this space and to prohibit these companies from uh, putting uh, their own products uh, preferentially in front of those of other third parties and also have uh, recommendations about how they are able to use customers' data. This is a long-awaited report. Many of these uh, recommendations have been discussed at the many hearings that have led up to this, uh, but certainly quite staggering to see them in writing and to see the subcommittee say these are things they will pursue at the end of this legislative section, session or the next. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Welcome to you if you're here to the channel for your very first time. It's really nice to meet you and welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Really awesome to see you and to have you here. Thank you very much for your continued support. But guys, seriously, I'm having such a hard time with this VR headset because, you know, the one thing that is a fact and undeniable is that Facebook, when they first released the Oculus Quest, they had promised everybody that basically Oculus and Facebook would not be merged, they would not be together. But then years later, they went against the word, they changed their strategy, and they basically merged the Oculus division with Facebook division and called it Facebook Reality Labs. And what does this mean? Well, first of all, if I was to do a factory reset on this, I would need a Facebook account to log in. And if I wanted to purchase the second iteration of the Facebook VR headset, the Q2, or well, the Quest 2, well, basically I would need a Facebook headset to log in as well. And what it basically means is that they took the database from the Oculus and the database from the Facebook and merged it into one. So effectively, all the algorithms and everything that runs on the Facebook uh, database can now run on the Oculus database because it's all one database. So all the stuff that they, t they take, like for example, all your data, your privacy, your actions, your conversations, what you do in VR, what you see outside with the cameras and all these kind of things can potentially be taken, recycled, analyzed so that Facebook has better chances to predict your moves before you actually even think of them. Whilst when you go back to the social media platform, they can put some messaging in there or some ads or whatever it might be as to whatever your feed is because everybody's news feed is individual, is personalized, is customized. So your feed, what you see in your feed is different to your all your friends' feeds. So basically they can influence your actions without you even being aware of it. So that's really the issue. And this is why I'm having such a hard time to you know, not want to promote this because I really want to promote this. The hardware, the tech inside of this is phenomenal. And it's just, I'm just really having a hard time. So bringing it back to today's story, basically a whole bunch of technology companies, including Facebook, have been engaging in anti-competitive monopoly tactics so that basically they have no competition whatsoever and don't even give their competition <laughs> The, the light of day to be able to compete against them whatsoever in the first place. So the government basically opened up a case. It lasted for 16 months. It was an investigation by the House top antitrust panel. And they found that four tech giants relied on dubious, harmful means to solidify the dominance in web search, smartphones, social networking and shopping. Now the House's findings threatened to carry considerable legal weight, lending fresh evidence to state and federal officials as they actively investigate Facebook for potential violations of antitrust rules. So what this means is basically if the courts decide to prosecute Facebook and Facebook lose the case, they could owe them in fines up to 5 to 10% of their annual revenue, which is really massive. And also some of the top level executives, including Mark Zuckerberg, could actually be indicted and face jail time. Now, the other reason why you may want to wait before you purchase 
you know, the other Facebook VR product, which is the Oculus Quest 2, is because basically what this means is that Facebook may be forced to divide its companies again so that they run as separate entities, including WhatsApp and Instagram. And this potentially could also mean <laughs> Oculus. So even though you had Oculus and Facebook, then it became Facebook Reality Labs, it could then suddenly become Facebook and Oculus once again, which could actually affect things in the future. And also the fact that, well, if Facebook are forced by any means to close things or there's anything that happens, it will definitely, of course, affect Oculus users. Now, don't forget that the European courts at the moment are also going through the motions in putting pressure on Facebook to provide certain things as to how they go about uh, sending their data from Europe to the US. Otherwise, Facebook will be forced to leave the European community. And this basically means that anyone who's in the EU um, well, may no longer have access to the Facebook account, which means they may no, may no longer have access to the Oculus, oh, sorry, Facebook Q2 headset as well. Now, the reason why this is big news, and I will quote this from the Upload VR's article. By the way, I will put a link description below the like button uh, where you can go and read all these different articles, which are all from very reputable and credible sources. So the report states the company used its data advantage to create superior market intelligence to identify nascent competitive threats and then acquire, copy or kill these firms. Once dominant, Facebook selectively enforced its platform policies based on whether it perceived other companies as competitive threats. In doing so, it advantaged its own services while weakening other firms. So what this basically means is that allegedly, if you were to, for example, put on the Facebook VR Quest 2 headset on, well, they could take the data or record, take whatever you're saying when you're having conversations with people or when you're using a specific, you know, Facebook app of some kind. Um, and also potentially if your VR headset was powered on and it could hear the outside world, then it could take that data, translate it through whatever algorithms that they've come up with and try to determine whether this data goes against or competes with their own products. And this is the same thing when you're leaving messages on the social media platform itself, in groups, or you're talking in Messenger, or all these kind of things. So it's using all this data for its own advantage to kill everything else around it. So it's nobody's fault, but, but, but buying one of these, or by using one of these, we're basically, with no fault of our own, we're affecting how the landscape, the competitive landscape is actually being played out. Now guys, I will be updating you as soon as I get more news, so do hit the subscribe and notification bell as well, so you'll be the first to know what's going on. And by the way, we've got some new headsets in the house as well, so I'll be doing reviews, so you definitely want to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for going out to interact and comment and watch two other previous videos, which was the six reasons you definitely should wait before you get the Oculus Quest 2, which was based on what John Carmack said during Facebook Connect, and also the other video, which was called the VR Social Dilemma.